Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes through you easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 188, NASDAQ's off 321, S&P's off 46, gold contract trading up 1060 at 1851 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $21.55 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $5.55 at a price point of $105.34. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 15 ticks, trading $119.08. The 30 year up a full point, plus three ticks at $131.21. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up 28 ticks, trading at $103.949. Euros 105, yen's 129. British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a highly volatile market. That bottom line is building cars for lower price. Uh, Spies right now at 394. Next stop is 366. We put this up here. You're going to see that, you know, bottom line is that we're back right now in the spies to uh, March of 2021. Uh, you can see the acceleration. You know, this is on a weekly. I mean, look at this volume, man. I mean, you broke last week with monster volume. It's going to be another break this week. There's, you know, uh, the one to one to 382 is at uh, 366 level. The next low out there is 370. So I suspect you'll get to the low. The problem with the market, folks, OK, is that we went up so fast. And so far, that a normal retracement was just going to wipe, you know, a huge amount of capitalization out of the market. And we're, you know, my take is we're at the beginning of it. You look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, three Qs right now down 750. You're at 293. The first price projection here in the Qs is 291, 281 rather. And, you know, bottom line is that you're going to see when we take a look at the Qs, you know, you're, you're already at the 297. You broke that. That was a high volume low. OK, ripped out of pop because the ABC structure. The next the next step down, you know, bottom line, we have an ABC structure to 281. With a one to one, <laughs> it looks to me like, you know, what this 260s game. I mean, when you when you break down this dramatically. What you have is this. Everyone in the NDX deal that has bought since November of 2020 is in a losing position. So you get the rest of it. The rest of it is, you know, people, you know, there's still too many people that want to buy. That, that's when you have a market that's down this dramatically, folks, and you still hear that you're going to buy the dip, you're going to buy the dip. When we come to a bottom, no one is going to be buying the dip. For a couple different reasons. People will have less money. People will be fed up with the marketplace. People will be scared. That's how bottoms get made. Bottoms do not get made <laughs> when you're in the middle of a market going south. Uh, and the, the problem with the market right now, how it goes south, is that you're going up and down. And so the faith is still there. Like, oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's a tough market. That's the bottom line. Let's go to Amy in Las Vegas. Hey, Amy, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing? I am wonderful. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. I, I am long on uh, MRO. Okay, so let's take a look. You get Marathon Oil, lows $10, the highs 29 This is up today with oil being up $5.5. It should be up. Um, what I would do with this is put a stop in, like, ASAP, because my take is, is this is going to, that oil bottom line, the OIH has topped out. You know, this looks like it's going to be a small ABC structure down. And I mean, it's not, I don't think it's the end of the run for MRO, 
but I think you're going to take some heat here, you know. Okay. So, because see what happened, it went up to this 2657 today and it couldn't handle it. And you have lighter volume, so it's like, okay, you're going to do a small ABC down. And if it does, it's not, it's like a six and a half, six, yeah, it's like a, this thing could get down to $20 pretty easy. Wow. So, you know, okay. let me just see something for a second. So, yeah, that's good, though. They don't come out, they don't come out with their numbers until August 3rd. So the way that, you know, there's a couple different ways you can do this, Amy, right? You can just say, okay, I'm going to sell it. Or you just say, listen, I'm at 2546. I suspect you're in a pretty good winning position at this point. Um, and then you just say, hey, listen, if this gets below and, you know, goes, you know, down a point, another point, two points, you know, I'm out. Um, okay. You know, and it, and, it, and it will be easier if you actually put that in, you yeah. know. Versus, versus trying to make that decision if it gets down there. Because the decisions are always tough. You know what I'm saying? You say, oh. Yes. And don't give up that money because you, you get a good trade. Um, okay. But this is a bad market. That's, that's the bottom line. And you know, like, like all these oil services, you know, I mean, the expansion was dramatic that they've actually done. You know, I mean, look at this. You know, six months you've gone, you know, it, well, it went up 100%. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, you know. There's, there's only so much markets will go up and or go down. So. Right. You, you have a great one, a safe one, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dow, Dow Industrials right now off 177. The Nasdaq's off 321. S&Ps are off 46. And yeah, Coinbase, folks, this is a wild man. I mean, the, the crypto world, folks, okay, right now is imploding. If you didn't hear it yet, uh, what you had last night, is that uh, the Terra coin, okay, that is supposed to bottom line is a stable, it's supposed to be a stable coin staying at a dollar. Uh, what ended up happening is that it went to 20, well, it went to 60 cents Saturday, and then they tried to get it back to a dollar, it went to 20 cents last night. It's, that's it, it's imploded. Uh, so we'll see whether they can get it back up. The only way you can get that back up, by the way, is put in, they're trying to put 1.5 billion in right now to get it back up, but picture this, if you just lost all that money, do you think you can go get a whole bunch more money to get it in to get it up? The bottom line is that I think we're going to find out uh, just what all these digital uh, assets are actually worth. And my take is that, guess what? The big zero. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>